Welcome back to Out in the Country. My name is Doug. And I'm Ashley. Today, the element is making its appearance again. <laughs> because you guys love it, right? So, yesterday we were hauling just a huge load of spruce branches and brush in here. And on here. Yeah. Out to the field. That worked really good. Today, we need it again. Because we have some big stumps that we need to move. Not the one I was trying to cut but some other ones that are on the property and they're way too heavy for a riding mower so we're going to try to haul them with this i don't want to cut them with the chainsaw because well right now the chainsaw is broken and um the wood is just massive there's yeah. just no no point in wasting my time on it while we're on the topic of the chainsaw i want to clear this up because a lot of people are commenting about wedges and not knowing how to cut and cutting chainsawing a tree is an art form I, I disagree. I, I, I don't think it's art. I don't think um, you're an artist if you're cutting trees with a chainsaw. Um, the wedging was not the issue whatsoever. The tree has not budged. The gap is super wide. I can slide my blade in and out with ease. The blade bar, the bar broke. The, bl the bar broke, the chain got wedged into it flared it out that's why it got stuck because the bar is broken the tree whether or not I had wedges in there wouldn't have made a difference I was probably just being too rough with the blade I was you know kind of poking it in kind of rough at a couple points and stuff like that and and the tensioner might have been loose um, so I might have you know the blade might have been sloppy I have no idea the point is, has nothing to do with wedges. I'm well aware of the wedge situation. I know how to use wedges. I know what wedges are. And the tree has not moved. It is solid. It's, it's been dead for so long. It's just old, dead wood. Mm -hmm. Hard. So, yeah, all that happened was the blade broke. That's it. The, I mean, the bar broke. Yeah. That was it. Um, the bar is super easy to replace. You twist a knob, you pull it off, you put a new one on. It's that easy. It's quick and easy and i already have one on order it was 31 dollars, so it's not a big deal and that's the first problem this chainsaw has had i've had comments kind of like get a real chainsaw it is real it's not a toy mm -hmm. it's it's actually made for cutting wood so i don't know what the i don't know why people attack stuff when they don't feel like it's manly enough for them or I something know. it's weird um the chainsaw has been super reliable super strong cut through tons of wood we we don't have to change spark plugs we don't have to buy oil and mix it with gas we didn't have to buy another gas container um we didn't have to buy air filters we don't have to clean the carburetor we don't have to winterize it it's yeah. super easy for us and it's, for somebody it runs whenever you want it to run and for us for our needs it works perfect yeah super happy with it I mean, I've, if you guys have seen how I've been using it, you'd be amazed that it's lasted this long. I've had the thing down, I mean cutting on the ground full of, I mean jammed full of sticks and weeds and tall grass, stuff that you should never ever do with a chainsaw. Yeah. And that's a big part of probably why it's worn out, because we have been abusing it. We use it a lot more than we even show in the videos. Yeah. We lay it down there in the ground and we cut trees all throughout the field in the thick brush and everything. So. It's a workhorse. It works awesome. We're yeah. happy with it. So I guess that's enough talking. Let's drive back there and see what this can do. We'll try it like this, I guess. Yeah. Looks good to me. And then put both of those under the chain. Yeah. So here's the plan. We rolled this big brute of a piece of wood onto the pallet. We have the pallet strapped to the toe strap, hooked to a chain to the element. We're going to try to drag it back to the nature area and unload it. It's going. The pallet board on the bottom back here broke. Yeah. And it's starting to shift backwards. You want to try pushing it on again? All right, so we got it out, we got it moving. I don't know if the pallet's gonna hold up long enough, but we'll try to get it back there in one piece. We're losing pieces. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Fell apart. 
the stumps. It hits the stumps and it falls apart, Doug. They don't make pallets like they used to. What yeah. if we just drag the pallet, the log alone? Okay. Will it work? Yeah, it will. that one for now and go back up and get some more stumps that we have to bring back. So the next stump is the one that we took down behind the house here and there was this big bug on it. Really creepy looking. So we're gonna tie it up. We have to drag it away from the house first far away because Doug doesn't want to run over the septic stuff. So once we get it pulled out more, then we'll attach the chain and yellow strap again. These are sunflowers that started growing from our bird feeder. We're just going to let them grow and see what happens with them. We could easily cut that one up with the chainsaw, but um, a lot of it is like rotting it's wood. Rotted. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down. These are all the leaves I got while right. we were driving. Last trip out to the campsite. Are we bringing anything with us? We need some tents. Yeah. This is the part of the movie where the tree just won't leave and you cry and you punch it. You say, get out of here, you dumb tree. We just had an idea. Underneath all these weeds, we have railroad ties that we want gone. They don't serve any good purpose. And since we have the element back here and since the seats are out of it, we could haul these in the element and put them somewhere. This thing is loaded with Japanese beetles, you can see they're eating all the grapes, uh, grape leaves. Let's see if we can shake some out. 
Let's come over here to a new batch. Yep. Oh, this is too heavy for me. Like, it's got edges, but it's completely hollow. Yeah, it's like a box. So the whole bottom, the whole top. Yeah. It is totally, totally hollow. Can you imagine the people in the olden days who had to lay all these for the tracks? Mm-hmm. Wow. Thousands of miles. And they were heavier when they were new. Yeah. So we're just gonna put them in a pile right here. Hey, there's a snake in here! A snake? Right there's a snake in here. Are you serious? Yes! Oh, wait, right, right here, under my seat. A snake? It's so big! Ready? Wait, wait, don't move, pal. How did that get in there? Ooh. Must have been in one of the ties. Oh yeah, there it is. Where is it? Oh. It's a garter. Wow. Catch it. There it is. Wait. I want to hold it. It's just a garter snake. It's so big though. Completely harmless. Good. It peed a little so it might smell. It's gonna smell really bad. Well, I already peed, so. So now we're in the field. We're gonna be clearing some more areas out. Just making the place look open and nice and desirable for people to buy. So I was just looking over here at this pile of grown in mess and I can see kind of a path through here. There's no really big trees right here. So I think I can get the mower through this. I'm gonna go get the riding mower and see if we can cut a path through here and make it a little easier to get to these trees. So we cut the path. Yep. And I'm thinking stuff like this, but like this too, especially. These are in my way, because I could clear this out a lot if those weren't there. Okay. Maybe like up to this one. I'm gonna try to cut through all these berries. This is gonna be thick, I'm gonna get jammed up. There's, I think this is a straight path.
She wants a break. We cleared out a lot more than I was expecting today. Yeah. And we weren't even expecting to clear today necessarily. I think Ashley had it in her mind, but I wasn't thinking about it. Um, wow, so glad we have the mower. That thing is still plowing through everything. And we cut down some major bushes, like berry bushes, grapevines, yep. stuff that's just so hard. You can't cut through it by hand, it's too thorny. So, big progress in the field today. Huge. Big mess. I think we're gonna end it here though. Ashley's gonna keep going, cut a few more trees. Then we're gonna call it quits for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care. Bye.